Third down. Has Ryan Neal earned a more prominent role in the Seahawks defense? Yeah, he has. Why? Why? Because I believe when you get him on the field, you add another playmaker. You add somebody in that defense that allows you to play more man-to-man coverage, in my opinion. You're able to be more aggressive when Ryan Neal can just simply take on uh, you know, George Kittle, for example. They ha- The Rams have another guy in Tyler Higby who's a very, very good tight end, who is a mis- mismatch guy and is somebody that Sean McVay loves to attack zone the underneath zone coverage with. And I believe if you take that element out and you've, if you have Ryan Neal assigned specifically to Tyler Higby again, I think it's going to lead itself to great results. So dime package is something that I was really intrigued about as you as the Seahawks were heading into the season because they have so many dynamic secondary guys and I, I believe that this is a this is a personnel grouping that you need to see a higher percentage of and a big reason why is because Ryan Neal is a very good football player. We saw it a lot against the 49ers specifically as a reaction Pete Carroll talked about this to their use of George Kittle they wanted to try to take him out of the equation so they got some physical hard-hitting safeties in there made sure to increase their coverage. Is that the same kind of approach you would take against the Rams, whose best offensive weapon in my mind is wide receiver Cooper Cup? It is, but you're not going to have Ryan Neal lined up on Cooper Cup. Uh, you are well, going to no, have him I'm... lined up on Tyler Higby, but you're putting more DBs on the field. Yeah. For, a, for a group that loves to pass the ball as much as the Rams do, well, all right, let's add an extra defensive back to the equation and let's not have Jordan Brooks out there. Let's not have Daryl Taylor out there as a Sam linebacker. You don't really need that personnel out there on the field. So I think that you're going to see a good amount of dime, uh, meaning that you're going to not have two linebackers on the field. You're going to replace one of those linebackers with a safety or a corner And in this case, it's going to be Ryan Neal. How wild to go from a couple years ago, the Seahawks being uh, the team that most often used their base defense to now being the team, well, they aren't using dime defense more than anyone, but that are that are we're talking about how frequently they're using their dime sub package in this game. Well, I think it just it it, it just comes to the adjustments and we'll see if uh, Pete Carroll and Ken Norton Jr. if they continue to go with that because it works so well for them. in this last game against the 49ers. That, to me, will be a big key and a key factor into this game, in my opinion. And I think it would be the right call to put Ryan Neal out there more often in the dime package, not in replacement of any other DB, but an additional DB on the field.